high. So I didn't really have the money, but I decided since I wanted to push my knowledge in ponytail palm care because I know absolutely nothing. I just kind of learning on my own. So I went online and I was looking for a rare variegated ponytail palm. So it's pretty much a ponytail palm. I'll put some pretty pictures. It's pretty much a ponytail palm that it just means that the leaf is two-tone color. So it has two colors. Could be yellow and green. I used the zip pay mitt and I bought it. So I made, so I bought it, I unboxed him, and I didn't plant him right away. I know he didn't come in a pot because they want to make shipping cheaper, so I waited a day. I probably shouldn't have, probably stressed it out more. potted it filmed it now we're here so we need the update right on Frank I named him Frank because I like his hair like I said he's coming from Florida to Houston he came into a box traveled in a bag with no dirt for who knows two to three days then he came to my house stayed out just his roots for a day I mean I still had like paper towels and wet stuff over it but Probably not a good yeah. I should have repotted, but it was dark and I wanted to repot in my garage with the light blah, blah. And so I repotted him and he's doing good. He's adjusting. He's lost some leaves, but uh He's dead. Overwatered him. Ah, no, I'm just joking. Okay, he did lose some leaves. It was beautiful, beautiful long leaves, and now look. So he's not dead. He just lost like a lot of the bottom leaves, but you could already tell when I was planting him that those leaves were starting to look funny color. And so probably just getting used to the heat over here in Texas. But the good news is the top of the growth is like the new growth. It looks really good. So it's okay if the bottom leaves fall off. Like you got to think about when a ponytail's palm is growing over the years. I mean, the new growth just keeps growing. So it's okay if you lose a few bottom leaves, right? Then it just makes the stem longer. So now I gave it a trim. And, but I can go, let me go get them so you can see the actual new growth. It looks good. Okay, you see Frank's still alive, just got a haircut. <laughs> Used to have really long leaves, but the good news is, wait, can you see the new growth? So all the new inside, like there's a new leaf shooting. You can't see it, but it's brand new. And the new tips I checked, like on these new leaves that are new, the the um, ends aren't burnt. So it's just adjusting. He's doing good. I really like the base. It's just a cool tree. So cool. He's kind of leaning over right now. I mean, that's the way he's kind of growing. But I got to rotate him in the sun. But anyways, I went, I checked on his leaves today to make sure there's no like bugs and stuff. 
literally a bug crawling on it. Okay, let me go put it back outside. But I'm excited because that new growth is like promising. You know what I mean? Like it has new growth. So I don't want to overwater it. I just watered it good for the first few days because I'm letting it get established. But it's a beautiful plant. I'm excited. So I'll give you, I'll keep an update. It's name's Frank. It's $200. Also, I have another video coming up repotting all my other plants. So stay tuned.